Good evening everybody. Apologies for the strange camera angle. I'm trying to get a bit of a louder sound out of my um, not so powerful microphone so I hope this is a little bit louder and easier to hear than some of my other videos. Now as this is the um, time of manifestation <clears throat> thanks to the Lionsgate portal that we passed through on the 8th of August. I wanted to develop my earlier presentation about colour work and the chakras so that I could give a full meditation for those of you who want to engage with this for self-care, healing and to align uh, yourselves more fully with the realm of light and to relax a little bit into this. Now some of you will already know that I don't employ the usual chakra colour sequence which tends to begin with red at the base chakra Muladhara and, and works through the rainbow upwards into orange, yellow, green etc. Now this isn't just my own invention, far from it. This is a very mystical but perhaps somewhat hidden teaching um, and based on, on long consideration over many years about the chakras, about colours and perhaps what most inspired this series is the works of the Greek initiate Daskalos and the English mystic Olive Pixley, who both used colour sequences that align very closely with each other and also the system I'm about to share with you, which rounds off this system into holistic chakra purification and strengthening exercise. It also taps into some Rosicrucian exercises which are solar in nature um, employing active visualisation and the energies of the sun to overcome the natural influence of the moon which tends to predominate in human beings when they're unconscious and um, not least of all I was also inspired to do this work more completely when the imperative to heal myself was given not for the first time it happens to us all at some stage in our life whether it's something relatively minor or something bigger that's not to say that we should of course not we should not ignore medical advice but in order to give ourselves the best chance of being healed and recovering from any kind of illness or condition um, we should also do, do work upon ourselves to give that the best chance. Now for those who are very accustomed to working with the more typical chakra colours a friend of mine who did a lot of work with the Ephrata Cloister and the East Mystical Group had an interesting idea which may help you overcome the ring pass knot um, if you're used to working with the rainbow from the base and he said that he thought the system that I use um, works very well over a middle pillar which runs in parallel to and in front of the spinal column through the soft tissues of the body. Now whilst I didn't necessarily know too much about the presence of two channels having typically, typically worked with the spinal column and nervous system running through that as most other people who work with the chakras probably do as well and who do yoga I do think that this notion of his works well and he was coming from a place of very deep knowledge and understanding um, about Rosicrucian philosophy light work um, and various esoteric emetic schools and as you'll see, I've incorporated various physiological systems of the body into these exercises for maximum healing potential. 
Now then, if you're ready, I'd like to begin. You can lie down to do this. That's probably the most relaxing position. But um, you can also be seated with your spine, your body straight, your legs uncrossed, and your hands resting up or down upon your your lap. We don't cross the legs or arms because we're opening ourselves to divine energy coming to us transcendently from outside as well as our inner energy. So we have an open circuit, not a closed circuit. And this is typical of the Western mystery tradition. Eastern systems often used closed circular circuits for force. But we don't operate a closed system. We have an open door policy. Now then, beginning with the root chakra, Muladhara, this is indeed at the base of the spine or the base of the body. This is four petaled, the four petaled lotus. Like a four leaved clover, but luminous, luminous with the vibrant energy of a deep emerald green, like a precious stone, a precious emerald. It's a deep green, it's not hard. It's alive. This is the sphere of Malkuth, the kingdom. And here we say the prayer I am the true vine. So the green already makes perfect sense. And here we envisage our lymphatic system and this healing green vine emanating out from the vital lotus with the freshest green as you see in the rainbow the pure healing vibration of green imagine this running all the way through your lymphatic system from the inguinal region in the pelvis and groin area down towards your knees on the one hand and up towards your armpits and neck by your stomach on the other. See your whole body as if you were looking from outside yourself, as if this vine was flowing all the way through your lymphatic system, this healing, healing colour. And also see it from the inside, directly inside your body, your lymph nodes on either side, vivified and refreshed with the true vine. It's green. Now you can start to move the energy upwards through shades of greeny turquoise transforming into blue as it approaches the sacral chakra, the sabadasthana, just below the navel. And as you reach the centre of this chakra, six petaled lotus, the sphere of Yesod, envisage this as a magnetic blue, perhaps it starts like aquamarine or a neon blue peripetourmaline, very precious, or forget-me-not blue, tinged slightly deeper with the hue of bluebells and magical sapphires in the upper region of the chakra. Envisage this six-petaled lotus like a rounded, 
six pointed star, seal of Solomon, pulsating with energy and light, right there in your sacral chakra. And say to yourself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Life. This chakra is associated with our reproductive system and the endocrine system, the glands of the body, which you can see now as like blue grapes, similar in colour to the throat of a peacock. These are located in the pelvis where you have the ovaries and testes. Further up in the centre of your body, on the pancreas, and your adrenal glands on top of your kidneys on either side, these blue precious grapes. The thymus gland behind your breastbone, so important for your innate immunity. And the thyroid and parathyroid glands in your throat. Blue blue grapes. Then in your head at the top is your pituitary gland, right in the centre of your head behind the navel, nasal cavity, the pineal gland that's behind your eyes, and the hypothalamus between the two of them which secretes important hormones which liaise between your nervous system and endocrine system. Visualise this radiant, dazzling blue, the blue grapes upon the vine, over your vital glands. Register how both the lymphatic system and the endocrine system are distributed throughout the body. It is a grapevine. Both the true vine and the way, the truth and the life extend throughout your being with the purest and most healing of colour vibrations. You are the vine, the true vine, and the way, the truth and the life is within you. As we move upwards from the sacral chakra, towards the solar plexus. We see this, the Manipura, as a ten-petaled lotus, where the magical blue of the peacock is transformed into the mysterious light of gleaming amethyst. Amethyst, crystal, light. Say, I am the door. As you arrive at this, the entrance to the Merkava, the physical seat of your own will and gateway of the soul of your body. Now the location of Manipura is ideally placed to cleanse and purify your digestive system with many digestive organs running through or close to this chakra, as well as your gut, there's your liver, your spleen, pancreas, stomach itself, intestines, all in the centre of your body. Consider as well that 70% of our immune system is generated by the gut, which is so often abused by poor eating habits overindulgence, processed food, sugar, primary source of inflammation for most of us, alcohol, well we've all done it, this isn't a guilt trip, it's life, but it's also in our power to give our digestive system spa treatment. The spiritual vibration of amethyst will help to rectify the vital digestive processes and free your subtle bodies from imprisonment in their mortal coil as you enter the realm of dreams. Whilst you're focused on this chakra, the 
ten petaled lotus, purple flower. Imagine that the doorway opens to receive a flow of cleansing holy water, light water, streaming down from the Lord Adonai in the heavenly abode outside of yourself, flowing through, cleansing. Open yourself to the stream of holy water into your digestive system, purifying, cleansing, relaxing. Imagine that it boosts your immune system. Heal yourself. The next chakra we move towards is one that some of you may not know about because it is the eighth chakra. Many people only know of seven. The eighth is the Hrit, the secret heart chakra, the sacred heart, Hrit Padma. Sometimes this chakra is called Surya, which means sun. And it's located just below the physical heart. This is the eight petaled lotus, eight being the number of the Redeemer. It's rosy pink in colour, tinged with gold. Think pink. You can associate this chakra with all shades of vivid pink, magenta, pink tourmaline rose quartz, pink sapphire, the emanation of unconditional love which channels the light and heat of the sun to the rest of the body and for this reason I've associated it with the muscular system, the physical vehicle which provides us with the power and means of movement. As the previous chakra was the location of the door so at the Hrit centre we can say, I am the key. Imagine your musculata radiating a beautiful rosy pink light as you start to become like the rose of the world. As this rose unfurls, it brings us to the heart chakra itself, Anahata the twelve petaled lotus, which is a glorious ruby red and brings to life our entire cardiovascular system, the health of our heart and our blood. Here is the centre of the Merkava, Tifereth, the holy palace of the human body, where sacred fire is blended with holy water, shim with mem. It's also the point of our entrance to the upper trinity and the veiled sphere of Da'ath above it. Da'ath is where the covenant of God with humanity is made. Here in the heart, Anahata, say, I am the bread of life. Without this bread, without this covenant, you cannot be fully connected to the Lord. So it's very important to consciously work towards forging anew this link, broken at the time of the fall, but forged anew by the sacrifice and promises of Christ. The rose here is in full bloom. The ruby red rose. A bloom of unparalleled beauty whose beating heart sends the sacred blood throughout our entire body, through the vascular system, vibrant, radiant with beauty, life and energy, purifying the blood, which is central to the mystery of the God-man, that which distinguishes humanity from the angels. crystalline light 
forms between your heart and your secret heart, crystalline, white, pure as white quartz, light on water, the wings of a dove, emerging from this pool of crystalline light is a chalice, it may be the brightest silver, the brightest gold, or crystal white, maybe studded with gemstones, like we've just been envisaging in our chakras. In this chalice are contained your hopes, your fears, your challenges, your dreams, your loves, your work, your sickness, your grief, your frailty, your sorrows, your shame, but your desire to heal yourself above all, all of which you offer to the Lord Jesus Christ, Adonai. Spend as much time as you like with this chalice. Work through your earthly concerns and hopes for your everyday life. No matter how big or how small they appear to you, just let them come into the chalice. Offer them up. And offer up thanks for your ability to pray and to connect with the Lord through the vehicle of your body. Ask for his help with all your concerns, especially as they relate to your health and well-being, your mental health as well. Reaffirm your heartfelt desire to be worthy of the promises of Christ. Now we have affirmed within ourselves the promise of the rainbow, passing over the abyss of the earth. We are ready to move into the higher levels of the tree of life and chakra system of the human monad, higher up the Sushuma Nadi, into the realm of the sixteen petaled lotus, the Vishuddha chakra. Here, I am the good shepherd. This is the throat center, the manifestation of the covenant, and it is to be seen as the most incomparable hue of orange, only really made visible on earth in the arc of the rainbow between the rose of the world, the heart center, and the yellow gold of the halo crown of Christ at the top of the pillar. The crystal most similar perhaps to this hue is orange citrine bursting with positive vibrations, positive energy. This is the breath of life. As we associate this chakra with the respiratory system, Aleph, the breath, Urash, Urash Elohim, enters our nostrils, through our lips, to move down into our throat and into our lungs, as the air is warmed entering our body, you may remind us of the rising sun as we inspire and the setting sun as we exhale. Try to make your breath supremely soft, make peace with yourself the Lord and the whole world. Be peace. Radiate peace. Bring peace to yourself and the world. As we move into the realm of the third eye, the Ajna Chakra, the two petaled lotus, we say to ourselves, I am the light of the world.
as we visualize the purest and lightest of yellow gold hues radiating out from the two petaled lotus over and across our entire intercumentary system that is our skin, hair, nails. You are golden, radiant. You emanate a blissful light which tinctures the entire surface of your body. Like sunlight, physical sunlight, rays of light touching every part of your body. At the centre of the Ajna Chakra, the hue is strong like yellow diamond or topaz, or maybe like a beautiful flower, primrose, dandelion. Softening into a diffused rainbow yellow as it covers our skin and hair, washing over everything that went before. Golden light like the midday sun. Let your eye be singular, all sense of separation melting away in the reality of the unity at its centre, right between your brows. Look through your eye at the eye of truth, of omniscience, omnipresence, omnipotence, infinity, high above you in boundless space. Think often of this source of divinity, from whence the holy crystal light water will flow down and through you, purifying your entire body inside and out, cleansing your soul and revitalizing your spirit. The star of emeticists, the sun at midnight. As you contemplate the midnight sun, let your consciousness move effortlessly, finally to the crown chakra. Sahasara, the thousand petaled lotus at the top of your head, the crown, the halo, and here it finally unites with the regular rainbow chakra colours in the brilliance of ultraviolet, which contains all other colours within it as pure light energy. This is the radiant centre of your nervous system now free to function perfectly in your purified and prepared physical vehicle. Say to yourself, I am the resurrection and the life, and pray that you will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. <laughs>